for our first lesson, I wanted them to see famous libraries. I wanted them to see museums. We took them to a castle in France and in Stockholm. What I feel like the headset should do for our students is to experience a world outside of New Braunfels. To basically go on a virtual field trip um, just in our classroom here in Texas, for them to see all these different places around the world, it can expand their view. The lesson we did today is actually guided by the teacher. So I go into the teacher portal of ClassVR and I set up all the images or the videos that I want the students to view. And I move them through the slides as we go. They can all see the same thing at the same time. However, within those slides in a 360 image, there's like a million things that they could be looking at all at once. The teacher side is able to click on a particular part of the photo or the video that they want the students to look at. The arrows then um, point them in that direction and I can see every single headpiece that's looking at the image that I want them to at the same time. So that way everyone's looking at the same thing and noticing the same thing at the same time. One of the last thing that I put on there was our um, AR experience for the students. They hold a cube on their hand that it has a QR code on it. And once the headset looks at the QR code, then the image pops up on top of the cube. So instead of dissecting a frog like we used to, now you can actually see the frog and in your hand, but it's not really there, but they're still able to experience it as if it is. To bring them to, into our classrooms is really um, exciting and the kids get excited because it's a new way to learn and it, it gets them interested in the topic in a whole different way.